What's going on everybody? Dar Sizzle and Puddin coming at you from our home waters. If you're new to the channel, we are a Florida fishing couple. Yes, and it's a beautiful day out here in Boynton and we're gonna be checking our traps, maybe doing a little fishing. Let's get right to it. All right, we got a fish. Oh, he just came off. Oh, you stinking fishing. There might be one on that one, yes. Just slammed it. Oh my God. Oh, 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 I'm crossing. All crossed. right, hooked up, catching fish. We decided we want to do some trolling and some fishing around before we check our traps. Yeah, winter, I know you guys got a big bluefish up in New York, but we have wintertime blue, little bluefish down here. This one might be like a, a decent one. Yeah. Nice work. Nice one. Nice one. Woo, that is a big one. That's a huge one. All right, guys, here's the lure. You know it. Missouri Crystal Minnow 3DS, whatever the heck it is, but trolling five knots. There he is. Oh. So what kind of blue, type of bluefish is that? I would say it's a cocktail. Yes, we can eat them, but today they're going in our traps. I'm a yeah. little low on carcasses. All right, hooked up again. Hooked up. Start casting. I am. <laughs> Ooh, this one's fighting hard on this light setup. It's also been a minute since I reeled in a fish. <laughs> I literally haven't been on a boat in like two and a half weeks, guys. It's pretty crazy. Yeah, we went to Georgia to visit Megan. Yeah, and then, and then Darcy and I, get, we're, we're gonna give you a nice update on that too, because we had a great time. And then we've been sick like bad colds for like a week. I told my sister it was the Omicron though. She got a little mad. She watch got out, a little watch upset. Out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Barely hooked. Whee! Oh, nice That's job. Nice Same lure? Yep. There he is. The sun is kind of a bad position right now, but that's another nice jack, about the same size as that bluefish. But this really gorgeous clear water we have and this time of the year really just brings the bluefish in shore. And it's just a gorgeous time of year to be out here and catching fish. And it's also a rare, beautiful, hot day in December in Florida. <laughs> yeah, when Georgia said it's, it's right. a rare, beautiful day, the average high in South Florida is 75 degrees in January. So yeah, and today's cold like, for her is not cold for you. Today's like 85. It's a rare, beautiful, warm day. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right, let's go. Yeah. All right, we're getting hammered here. Woo! Woo. Oh, he's bigger. Whoa! Oh. Jeez, these things are bad. Woo! Wow, so the you lure. <laughs> so the lure. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, he's flappy, so flippy. So the lure flipped up and hit the camera. Yeah. Found him. <laughs> yeah. All right, both these lures, different colors, work. Whoa, that was close. That was close. Everything's hooked up. Whoa, this one. This one. Oh, that's the blues. Bluefish. Bluefish. Get him, Brian. The blues jump. Whoa, oh, yeah. the blue. I gotta keep that. Keep big my tip blue. down. Keep my tip down. Big blue. Keep him on. That's a big blue. He's jumping. Am I gonna net? Oh, I got a blue too. Oh, good. Get him in. Woo! Boom! I'm gonna get mine down. This is really working, guys. Oh, he's good size. Whoa! Woo! <laughs> blue fish attack! We got three! Three, three. at once! Three! Oh, we got, we got to settle down over here. Holy crap! <laughs> <laughs> this one, mayhem. this one got caught on my camera bucket. That was amazing. This one's jumping over here. Eating all these lures, including this lure Apala right here too, which is a great little lure. But all sizes, just something that has a lip that gets it down, and that'll be in the Amazon store if you're interested in catching your own bluefish. But these are nice size ones. I like the nice and oily, stinky blues for the trap. <laughs> and then also to eat, maybe. Yeah, all right, guys. When you guys are hanging out in the intercoastal. In the slow zones, you got the kids out. We just how many fish with these cats? We could just caught like a dozen fish. Yeah, at least. In like half an hour. Probably so more. just troll around wherever you're out there, you'll find the spots, you'll catch the fish. Yeah. All right, let's get to the crabs. That was cool. Were they following them up? Yeah. Awesome. First trap, y'all. Here we go. Covered in growth. What do we got? Ooh, a little juvenile mutton snapper and two stone crab claws. Looks like we're gonna have one that keeps. Woo! Hopefully, this is a sign of better things to come. <laughs> nice nice claws. All right, then you measure them with this thing. Other way. Other way. That is the keeper. Yep. He's a keeper. Jack those for fun. Keeper. That's a keeper too. Beautiful. Awesome. Big female. Nice. All right, nice start. This trap we actually lost the other day, and we just found it. We were searching around for like half an hour. I didn't film it because that's boring. <laughs> but we have a ton of these videos, guys. Today we're just going to run through it kind of quick. Uh, and we're experimenting with some new bait, of course, like we mentioned before. But um, we have a bunch of these videos, how to cook them, how to catch them. We'll link them all down in the description below, and I'll even do it up here. 
And uh, we're gonna keep one of those claws. You're allowed to keep two, we're just gonna keep one. And yes, they do grow back after about a year. But a ton of that information is on our other videos, okay? Uh, we don't wanna just do the same video over and over again. I'm just gonna have keep a claw. All right, now you see this is a female. Look at that big apron down there. Woo! Other way? Other way, how do we go backwards? Nope, no. not, see now the keeper, it, doesn't, it goes right over the thing. Oh. Put that on the elbow, and see that's not a keeper. Nope. All right. It would have been a keeper last year. Oh my God. Oh, he's got my camera. He's got my camera. <laughs> he's got the antenna. He's literally got the antenna. You can't, I can't, I can't, get, can't even film it. I can't film it because it's so close. Oh, Jesus. All right, thank you. <laughs> she just bent the wire on that. Yes. Trap number two has one crab. The regrow. Yeah, see yeah. they regrow? Anyway, so just that's one claw, we're gonna throw them back. Trap number three, y'all. Oh, and it's full of crabs. I can see all their legs sticking through. This might be our best yet. And you guys can see I'm wearing my stone crab necklace, by the way, which is available on my website. They make them from these stone crabs. <gasps> wow. Whoa. Solid. Solid, dude. And there's a dead one in there. Huh. Unfortunately, they'll fight in traps and they're territorial, so it does happen. Um, that where they actually kill each other and it can happen within a couple days of them just being in the traps It's nobody's fault. It just happens. So you know, there's another big one in there, but that is quality right there five quality crabs. Yeah, baby mm -hmm. Absolute monster. That's a grow back. That is a grow back And you can see somebody just recently harvested his giant claw. That's a huge body for a stone crab huge one Wait till you see the next one in here This dude is monstrous that is a huge stone crab, and he is mad. <sighs> Left-hander. Left-hander with the cruncher claw on the left side. That's an original claw. I can see right there that the lines are perfect on it. But beautiful male stone crab right there. Yeah, show the male again. Monstrous. See how that's different? It's more of a straight yeah. thing. <laughs> nice crab. He's going in the well for pictures in a little bit. Drop number four, guys. Woo! It is just Phil and he's catfish. You're gonna get catfish in your traps. It's gonna happen. They're not good bait, so we just throw them back. And this one actually has a little, a little crab. There you go. Right back. On to the next one. Nothing. Just catfish. Where are you right. going, Sizzle? Nobody wants to see that. Blow on my nose. We've had full on, like, pretty bad colds, like, light flus, like a week. It wasn't even a flu, you were saying. I know, but... Don't tell him it was a flu. I don't, it was a bad cold, or well, light flu. Yeah, I haven't been sick in uh, years, because we don't work with anybody except ourselves, and I blame it on playing with my sister's kids. Those darn kids will get you every time. During the holidays, because they're little monsters. They're like little Petri dishes. So, <laughs> anyways. I suffered the consequences and got sicker than Brian and had 101 fever the other day. But feeling better. Just still got to get rid of it. <laughs> number Trap number six had nothing. Trap number seven, here we go. Let's see what we got. Oh, yeah. I'll take it. Whoa. Two crabs, one with no keepers and one with a giant keeper claw. And the cool thing about these giant keeper claws is that I sell them on my website. You see right here, I made that myself with epoxy and beautiful sterling silver bail and the pendant and all that good stuff available on my West website. Again, it's gonna be linked down below for you guys to check out. But basically once we cook them, we take that beautiful piece of his claw right there and make that as the pendant. And the cool thing about these necklaces is the fact that they are renewable resource because this crab will grow back his claw in about a year's time. Very cool. That's a keeper all day. I don't even need to measure it. Nice. Yeah, guys, Christmas is coming up. Got great gifts on Darcy's website featuring those claws, but check it out, all kinds of stuff yeah. on there, including the 2022 calendars, which are going fast. We bought a limited supply, so yes. right over there. Even that uh, seahorse pendant you see on my chest yes. as well is available on the website. Sea turtles, seahorses, dolphins, all kind of great stuff. Check it out. Check it out. This is why I put the zip ties on so we can tell if it's robbed. No zip tie. Totally robbed. Totally Nothing robbed. in it. Zero. That happens. People suck. <laughs> Trap number nine. Woo 
Woo, nice load in there. That's a monster Whoa. right there, gigantic claws. Man, it's been a killer season so far. Thank the Lord. Brian just didn't, was like, totally did not want to do this this year, trapping. And I was like, yes, because last year was just no good. This year, it's been great. Just like fishing. There you go. All right. You see right there, somebody broke in the claw. And he's doing just fine in the trap. Let's let him go. Whoa, cool. my gosh. That's just gigantic. Original claw, you can tell. Smaller body on him, but again, just like their claws are bigger than their bodies. Like that's insane. Like think about your arms being heavier and bigger than your actual body. Like it's just crazy. Delicious though. That was a soft break, clean break. Whoa. <laughs> Hold on for him a little too long and gave him too much of a chance to try and grab me there. All, all right. right. Trap 10. Why are you speaking like a baby? I'm a baby. He's like, all right. I'm, so, I'm just so excited we're done. <laughs> so he can go home and eat because he's telling me how starving he is. I'm hungry. So he gets fresh stone crabs. But we are using an invasive green iguana today for bait. His tail is missing because we ate his tail. We ate his tail. Hopefully you guys saw that video. Catch, clean, cook in the backyard. Put down the description. But giant lizard, probably about 15 pounds or so, even with his tail there. But we're gonna see how he works for trap bait. And we have done this in the past, but it's been quite a while. So I'm excited to see how well this lizard is gonna work for our traps. So yeah, you guys will be... have to stay tuned when we check them again. Yeah, it's gonna be exciting for the next episode. And uh, yeah, if you guys don't flip out on, on the lizards or the iguanas, because down here in Florida, they're invasive non-native species and yeah. they destroy foundations and dig holes and crops and everything else. And you can check that all out on myfwc.com. Yes. But um homeowners are encouraged to remove them. Yes, we're encouraged. So So uh, we're gonna we ate his tail and we're gonna make him into crab claws. So the world goes round. So no waste on the lizard, y'all. Awesome. You get to see that firsthand. And once again, you're gonna have to stay tuned to find out what we can end up catching in this trap. But now we know this is the final trap of the day. And that'll be the final trap on the next stone crab video. All right, going in the water, right? Let's do it, Sizzle. Let's you gotta go. Wait. She's so strong. Brian's weak and complains about all the hard work of lifting traps, so this is my exercise. I'm so strong, I don't, if I lift the trap up, it'll just fly over the boat and be like gone. I don't know, I think my guns are bigger than yours. Will I have a gun contest? No. All right, let's go. All right. <laughs> nice. All right. All right, guys, back at the house. We got like eight or nine claws, which isn't a ton. Eight. But they were eight, but they were so big. It was awesome. Quality claws today. Yeah, yeah no so, complaints. Totally awesome. Great day in the water. Getting back into it after two weeks. But Darcy is going to fill you in on Meg. Meg Sizzle. Yes, Megan is doing well. Uh, like Bryce said, we saw her two weeks ago over the Thanksgiving holiday, and that was great, along with my other siblings. Got to see all my sisters, except Connor. Connor was missing. But we had an epic adventure in Gainesville, Georgia. And Megan, like we said, is improving. Um, for instance, Megan is basically talking like normal, like her normal self. She says things that she's always said. She's into poetry, which she was into before the accident. Um, she she's writes still, poetry. She's writing yeah, poetry. Sorry, she writes yeah. poetry, which she always has done. She's cracking jokes at pudding, making fun of just making jokes, period. She yeah. was hilarious. And uh, she's in a lot of pain right now. A lot of pain at night, which people might call phantom pain, but she's in constant pain. Like when I was speaking to her, she told me her pain was at like a five or six, and at night it's like a nine or 10. So just keep praying for her. And uh, that also brings her closer to our father who passed away because he was in a lot of pain when he was sick and passing away. So that's the only sad part. But Megan is improving and she's probably definitely going to walk again. I'm very confident. We're gonna get, hopefully have her get to that point but she's still standing on her tippy toes and walking. So eventually we want to get, you know, her, her foot to lay down properly. And she's had podoc, podoc, po, Botox done to her feet to relax some of those muscles. So Megan will eventually walk again and she's still getting therapy and all that good stuff. And her husband Isaiah is doing great as well because he was severely injured in the accident and he's Megan's full-time caretaker. Um, so I'm going to link that stuff down below if you want to check out Megan's Instagram. She posts on there yes, regularly. Please. Um, and then I'll be posting an update on Instagram myself too, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, thank you guys for the prayers and support. It really helps her. It's really working and just continue to keep thinking about her and your thoughts and prayers. So that's about it, guys. Until our next adventure, follow, follow your dreams, dreams and keep, keep on, on catching. catching. And I apologize for my crazy voice today because I don't sound like myself being sick. It's okay. We love you anyway. Sorry, I'm trying. We love you anyway. All thanks. <laughs>